Good morning from Canada. So, Anne and I are on our big Canada trip that we've had planned three times. It's been cancelled twice. And now it's finally happening, guys. We're here in Canada and we're having the best time. We've been here for a week and we're both absolutely falling in love with this amazing place. We're spending the first 10 days of our trip exploring Alberta and then we head over to BC and we spend some time on Vancouver Island. So, right now we are in Banff. We are leaving Banff today to move to Yoho National Park. We're going to do one final hike in Banff today. It's going to be a spicy one. I'm really excited about it. And yeah, I'm just having some pre-hike fuel. This is chocolate granola with raspberries, blueberries and oat milk. And I have a nice big cup of chamomile tea. This is from the Banff Tea Company. It's really, really good chamomile tea. I bought a bunch of bags to take home because it's so tasty. And yeah, I need to pack my suitcases, need to prep my backpack and get everything ready to rumble for a day in the mountains today. So I just filmed me doing that, so I'll cut to that clip now. And now I need to pack my backpack for today. So, it's not forecast to rain, but always take your waterproof suit So I'm taking my waterproof trousers and my waterproof jacket. My tripod, so I can get my picks for the gram. That's essential with my attachments. That's the heaviest thing apart from my water. I've got two and a half litres of water in here in a water bladder. Lunch today is a bagel with cheese, tomato and lettuce and Philadelphia cream cheese, herb and garlic. Then I have snacks, two cliff bars, a lava bar and an oat nature valley bar. They need to bring these to the UK, these chocolate dipped ones, they're so good. A hat, I have shorts to change into, sunglasses, sun cream, face and body, lip balm because the air out here is so dry, so dry my skin is crying out. Nail file because I always break nails on hikes. I'm a high maintenance mountain girl. Portable phone charger, essential, bliss plasters, waterproof jacket going in. And we are going to take our swimmers. We are yet to decide if we're going to take them on the hike or swim at a different lake nearby after the hike. But swimmers are coming with us along with the microfiber changing towel. My hiking poles, because this is going to be a hard hike, I don't need my poles with me. These are my Tiva sandals to change into after the hike. So that is me, pretty much ready to rumble. We are on the road. Good morning, Anthony Moore. Good morning, Dana Van Dyke. Hello. So it's raining, guys. It's raining. The weather forecast right now says that it's supposed to be sunny, but it is in fact pouring with rain. We have a one hour drive until our hike though, so we're hoping that within that one hour, the weather just miraculously changes and it's blue skies by the time we get there. So that's what I'm manifesting, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> it looks all right that way. Behind us. Oh, it looks, oh, it looks great that way. Okay, I'm feeling quite optimistic. It is heavy rain where we are, but behind us is a stunning pink sunrise with like some clear skies. So I'm feeling optimistic, guys. All right, guys, we manifested this. Look at that. Look at that sky. Can you see that? It's like blue with a few clouds and it's getting clearer. Happy days, that one hour drive, the weather did miraculously change. And we are about to embark on a hike, which is called Helen Lake and Cirque Peak. Are you excited for it, babe? Yeah, I am. Cirque it's... Peak via Helen Lake, it says it's 16 wow. kilometers and 1,100 meters of elevation. It's gonna be spicy, but it's gonna be beautiful. I'm really excited. Bring it on. We've so got all the snacks. So it's a steady uphill. And, and then, then a, a steep scramble at the end. Oh, scramble. Yeah, it was okay. like a steady uphill for about 800 meters and then a, or 300 meters. So a steady uphill for like 800 meters of elevation and then like 300 meters of scramble, I think. Okay. So, should be fun. Nice. Bring it on. Bring it on. We are all geared up. We're ready to rumble. And guys, this is our car. What's her name? Jessica. Jessica. Jessica the Jeep. She's served as well. We've had some rough roads and she has smashed it. Well done, Jessica. 
Okay, we are two and a half kilometers in. I want to show you guys the view behind me. Can you see that massive glacier? So stunning, let me show you. This is the path that we've just come up. Absolutely gorgeous. Oof. And in the space of a few meters, we've gone from summer to autumn. All the reds and oranges coming out. Yeah, it's looking nice. Stunning. That little squeaking noise is a pika. 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 Like a Pikachu. So cute. They're so cute. So I've just come out of the trees and we're about three and a half K in now. Yeah. And the sun is still shining, which is good. I think I can see the peak that we're conquering. What is it, that one? I think it's that one, let me show them. Oh. I think guys, it's that. I'm not 100% certain. That one. Uh, yeah, that one. <laughs> not 100% certain, but I think it's that one. We'll see when we get closer. I am sweaty. Les are off. Sweat is dripping. Sula is sulaing. We love to see it. As time passes, I'm becoming more confident that this is the peak we're conquering because I can see some tiny humans climbing it. That is going to be spicy. Are you ready? Oh, I need a snack. Bro. Yeah, let's have a snack by the lake. We have made it to Helen Lake. This is after my mum, Helen Van Dyke. Shout out to you, mum. Thinking of you. We're going to rest, have a snack and then climb up there. So that is the agenda. So it's snack break time. What have you got? I got a bag of nuts. A bag of nuts. This is Cashew. Ar almonds, cashews, pecans. And I have a cliff bar. And a cliff bar. What flavour cliff bar have you got? Chocolate almond fudge. And it's got chocolate almond fudge. Mm. I've got banana peanut butter. These are really, really good hiking snacks because they're like very energy dense. In one bar you get like almost 300 calories and it's small and light to carry so really good hiking snack and yeah we're just going to sit here next to the lake look at the mountain we're about to look at the climb. mountain we're about to climb and think oh and yeah get ourselves mentally and physically prepared for that you're already done like 500 meters of elevation in the last six kilometers we still have 600 meters of elevation to do and it looks pretty much straight up, so mm. good luck to us. Oh, we just finished the climb up from the lake to the ridge. And then to the big boy ahead, let me show you. We're going to go up these rocks, along there, and up to the top. There's a sandy route here you can see, but that's the descent. Much harder to ascend on sand. So we're going to ascend on rocks to sand on sand. The scramble has begun. It's spicy and it's really windy. So I'm probably not going to talk to you now until, until we top. get to the top. I might show some clips, but it's going to be too windy to talk, okay? Okay. <laughs> Let me show you the view though. This is the view from where we are right now. Look at that huge glacier over there. Ooh. Massive glacier. All of these peaks. There's another huge glacier there, but the sun is blocking it out for you guys. And yeah, just 360 stunning, stunning views. All right, should we go conquer this thing? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my God. Just okay, the summit is just behind us. I thought I'd vlog here though because we're sheltered. Guys, I cannot explain to you how brutal that climb was. How brutal was that, babe? That's the most savage hike we've done this trip. Yeah, that was absolutely insane. But we made it to the top, almost at the summit, and the views are mind blowing. Like, this is just one side, but I'll show you the rest when we get to the top.
sun begins. We found ourselves a lovely little lunch spot. We are next to a lake just here. Can you see the lake? Okay, there's a lake just there. We're in a sheltered little spot. We're gonna sit down and have some lunch. You're doing quite well, haven't we? Let me come over there. What's for lunch today, babe? Bagels. More bagels. Bagels, we have bagels every day. We like these. So I think we have about six and a half kilometers left till we get back and it's all gonna be either flat or descending, which will be nice. Put our poles back. Can you see that in my backpack? Put my poles back, don't need those for the rest of the descent. It's gonna be quite a gentle descent. And then yeah, should we go? Leave no trace. Leave no trace. We're down at the shores of Helen Lake. We decided we're gonna have a swim because the wind has gone down here. And it looks like a really nice lake. So we're gonna have a dip. We've got our swimmers with us, so let's give it a go. We've had our swim. That was actually so nice, wasn't it? It was a nice swim. Such a beautiful swim. Really good temperature, like cold, but refreshing, not too glacial. And yeah, the sun is out, the wind is dying down. We're hiking back. I'm feeling very accomplished right now. I'm just enjoying the scenery. It is a stunning, stunning, stunning day. And we have incredible views. We have finished the hike. Let me get the stats on my Garmin. It was 17.13 kilometers, 1,147 meters of ascent and five hours and 36 minutes of hiking. Yeah, round trip, it was seven hours exactly. Yeah, because we stopped, we had a swim, we had lunch, we chilled at, the, chilled at the peak. So yeah, it was a really, really good hike. One of my favorites from the trip, I think. Yeah, Do you it's agree? up there. We're saying it's in our top two hikes. We're now gonna work our way to Emerald Lake in Yoho, potentially via a few stops. We'll see what we see. We need to get some food. Yeah, let's go. So we have just hopped out the car and we're doing a quick 600 meter walk. Oh, thanks for the, the push. Up to Peito Lake that's famous for looking a bit like a fox, I think. Let's see. Okay. And here it is, Peito Lake, and it does indeed look like a fox. And you can see that it's fed by this massive glacier up here. Hopefully my camera shows that there's a massive glacier just here that's feeding it. We just stopped off in Lake Louise Village, picked up some ingredients for our next few days of packed lunches, and I got myself a bag of these Ridgies Extra Salt and Vinegar. Just sounds like a bit of me, so we're gonna smash these on the way to Yoho National Park, which is our next stop and where we're sleeping tonight. All right, we have made it to where we're staying tonight. That little bus has got Ant on it. He's just taking our suitcases to our room. And we're staying at Emerald Lake Lodge, literally, in the heart of the mountains, surrounded by the most incredible emerald water. I think this is gonna be one of the most beautiful accommodations I ever stay in. Literally, couldn't get a much better setting, hey? This is what the lodge rooms look like. Super cute, let's go and find ours. Here is our little cabin. And it's just taking the bags in and we are in the upstairs room. Here he goes. And this is our room. Let me show you the view out of our balcony. You can see the emerald water and the mountains peeking through the trees. So we're happy. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy too. <laughs> We're just reviewing all the stats on my Garmin and how much have we hiked, what's the distance and what's the elevation that we've done? We've done 105 kilometers. 105 kilometers. And we've done... 5,700. 5,750 meters elevation. Over the past week. Good work. So 65% of the way up Mount Everest. So we just need to do that again and then hopefully we'll conquer Mount Everest. <laughs> I think we'll do it. I hope so. So Anne has got some sort of savoury cheesecake 
and I have got mushroom soup. And for Maine, I've got some pea fritters with lentils and a margarita. Ooh. Okay, it is eight minutes past nine p.m. and I need to go to sleep. I'm gonna have some dessert, which are these turtles. Apparently these are like a Canadian thing. Um, I don't really know what they are. It looks like pecans and chocolate. So I'm gonna have some of these and some chamomile tea out my flask. A flask, have some chamomile tea out of this and some chocolate turtles and then go to bed. And yeah, today has been blooming marvelous. Guys, Canada, it's just blowing us away. It is absolutely stunning. It is better than we ever expected. Like I always knew it was gonna be incredible. I always knew we were gonna love it, but it's like even more mind blowing than I ever expected. And the thing that I love the most is that it just feels so wild and expansive and vast and just never ending. So many mountains. So yeah. Stay tuned on my Instagram and my website. I'll be doing comprehensive travel guides and sharing lots of Instagram content about Canada. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you soon. I'm gonna demolish some of these turtles and I'll see you later, bye.